off. What's cracking, everybody? Mr. Boy Neo Avandre. And, um, I, this is Monday. And this is the start of my series this week called Living with BU. Um, I'm gonna take a week and I'm gonna keep my hood on. Keep my hood on while I'm DJing. Keep my hood on while I'm kicking it, while I'm flying, while I'm sailing and yachting and driving and, um, you know, cook or try to cook, try to get into the professions, um, you know, try to get into different things and see how I like be you. See if I can get into it. And at the end of the week, I'm going to give y'all my pros and cons about what I think about BU, whether I like it or not, whether I suggest suggest it or not. The next week, we're going to try a week being on DFS. But this week, it's BU. As you can see, I'm in my BU bedroom, which is at the palace. My bedroom at the palace is a BU bedroom. And then... I even have the BU bathroom in the palace. And now Sarah's got the... Um, I really like having this palace because the BU, I was able to set out the BU nice here. And I really liked how BU came out. Um, yeah, the living room, I mean the dining room. Some living area for BU. And this is the part I like the most. The kitchen. Having the space to really do the kitchen up nice. So we're gonna try BU. We're gonna We're gonna see what's what's popping. What's popping? Can I is it livable? How much does it cost? Is it expensive? Um is it worth it? Does it add realism and role play to Second Life? Or is it a waste of linden? I'm going to let you know that. I'm going to keep it real with you, shawty. So, this is Monday. I'll see you guys on Friday. And I'll let you know what I think. Peace out. Hey everybody, what's good? It's your boy, Kenny G, with Kenny's Online Adventures, and I'm sorry my video is a little bit late this week, it is because of, well, I'm not really feeling good, I'm not feeling good even as I record this, but I'm dedicated to building my video channel, and so even... Though I don't feel well, I'm here. So this is my series. Um, this week was Living a Week Would Be You. Um... I did advance the level in BU. Not exactly sure yet um, what that's going to look like. As far as levels and what they do for you. But, um,. Now, here's something that I think that people need to understand about BU. It is not meant to be a second game. Sure, you can play it as a game. And some people, they do. They have the win-lose attitude. And they play this like this game
However, what I think that BU was made for was to be a role play mechanism. And this is to enhance your game experience. This is to add role play to it. I mean, it's cool. I'm sitting here chilling, doing um, you know, eating, cause I had a number that was low. Oh, my hygiene is hella low. Um, but you know, how fun is it to, you know, it's not really that fun now, just cause me. It's not my entire family. How I would wish it to be as far as recording this video. And so, but how fun is it to sit down at a table with your friends and family and not just talk, but actually have a, um, um, have, you know, role play things, aspects to it. I mean, it's really cool to be able to sit here and eat dinner. I think that is really boss. Food even looks semi close to being real. I mean, it's still pixels. But. Still pixels, but. That was weird. So on Wednesday, I'm gonna talk about farming. Cause I've gotten into BU farming, and I think that's a lot of fun. This is what I call my BU house. Um, on my sim, I have. Um, this isn't my main house. Um, but in here, all the furniture and all the window stuff. Just everything to you know, being able to, but yeah, this is my BU house where I can come and get my stats up and do BU fun stuff. And um, when I move the palace here, then the B section will be a lot bigger. Yes, I'm taking a shower with my clothes on because I am just getting my hygiene number up. That's all. Um, but overall, I really thought that BU is a lot of fun. Is it perfect? No. It has its hiccups, but I think that if you keep playing it, then more and more, you know, resources will go into making it a better, um, experience. But yeah, I um I recommend BU to folks. You wanna add another dimension to your role play, to your second life gaming experience. And BU is one of them ways.
Oh, my social's down. Get my mirror. I apologize for my moments of quietness. This is trying to figure out some things in real life. Um, like I said, not feeling my best, and that's probably coming through on this video that I'm not feeling my best. But BU, I like it. I like BU a lot. How y'all like that new hair I got? That's dope waves. I love those waves. But anywho, um, this, I, I like BU. Um, I like that it's a community aspect. This furniture belongs to my alt. Um, Neo is brand spanking new with BU. So he doesn't have, you know, furniture. BU furniture. Um, we can, you know, use the kitchen together, his recipes, we can use, you know, I think that is very cool, I think that adds, BU adds a new level of flavor, a new level of dimension to what it means to just be individuals, to, to have fun, to add, you know, something to our roleplay where it's just not talking on a computer, but actually you have some fun things to do. If you're bored, you can get into things. Like I was heavy into farming. I had saw a farmer's market, and I had tons and tons and tons of produce, and uh, it was a lot of fun. And there was fun where um, But, anywho, next week on Wednesday, I'm going to talk about bee farming. And then, next Saturday, I'm going to do DFS. I'm going to start DFS and see what that's about. I don't know what, I've never played any of these. Um, I, was, I played BU before, but um, when I did this series, it was starting BU from scratch. And that's the way it's going to be with DFS. I'm going to start DFS from scratch and see how that goes. So, I'll check in with y'all on that. Anyway, it's your boy, Howard.